Hi, it's Jamie. We're finishing up with the medication. This is segment three for Lewis Cooper. As you see, I have completed all the weeks and the boxes, and what I've done is I've carefully made sure that they're all shut so they don't open. Now what happened is because we try to do um, 12 weeks, 90 day supply, is I was short for two of the medications. So the Umbrevica, which will come any day now, I will have to go back and fill for three weeks worth of Umbrevica once the medication comes in. So what I did was I took a piece of tape and I put it across the entire week and I wrote with a Sharpie, missing Umbrevica for the whole week. And I put it on this box for the noon row and also this box and also this box. I also found that I was missing the atorvastatin, which will need to be cut in half and filled for three weeks as well. So I will call the pharmacy and hopefully they will be able to stock that up for me so I can get that done. But once again, I put it here, piece of tape, missing atorvastatin. That way we remember when we get to these last weeks, because basically what we're doing is this will be week 10, week 11, and week 12 which is really far away. It's over two months away, so there's no worries. We will get the pills in, but at this point in the middle of July, we just didn't have quite enough to do 12 weeks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these that are missing, I'm gonna put them in a separate pile, so when the medications do come in, we can carefully fill them and catch up to the other groups. So what I'm gonna do now is pack up the boxes and show you where we store them and what we do with them. We have four sets of these small ones, which if you remember from segment one, are divided into the five times a week that my, five times a day that my father has to take his pills. So these are the best ones, so we use them up first. We always put the active sticker on this pouch only, so they're always transferred to here, so in case of an emergency, someone needs to find out what week we're on, where we are, they'll just find this and they'll be the active one. So all we do is we take the pills and they fit into this little box and we keep them in the order that they are. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So you can see when you look up into it that it's all stacked up there. We do that, this is the active, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna do it three more times. So we've got the four pouches here. So here we go, I'm just gonna do them. I'll try to go fast, because I know it's a little bit boring, but these are the ones that are really good. And what happens is we put them away in a secret place, and then we have my father's home health care aide. She takes just one day out at a time for my dad to make sure that he doesn't over medicate or take too many out at the same time. And then it's easy to keep track. Okay, so that's two. Now we're on the third one. And we're going to go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Always checking that we have them all closed so nothing spills out. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, okay? So we've got those four here, and one more like this, and here we go. Sunday. You see we wrote with a Sharpie on these to make them on all four angles, that you can see what day it is and what time of day, whether it's one, two, three, four, five, okay? Friday and Saturday. All right, so we've got these. At this point, I'd like to do a spot check just to make sure that I've done it right. So the best way to tell really fast, did I do this right or did I screw it up, is to go and look at the chart again. And under noon, remember we had Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, the one square pill, the white square pill, it says it right there. And then just on Monday and Friday, the large pink pill. So let's say I do a random quality control check, okay? Look noon, then I look on Monday, we can see the pink pill is only in Monday and only in Friday. So I know that I got that part right. And then I do a quick check. Uh, let's go ahead and look 
bedtime, he only takes two pills. So I look under bedtime, are there only two in each category? Yes, there are. So you can look through, you don't even have to open it up, and you can kind of count, and you can see the yellow one, you can see the halves, so you can really see if you have the right number. And if I looked here and I saw there were only three pills here, and I know there needs to be four, I can go back and check it, so it's pretty easy. So all I'm gonna do is the ones that are completed, I'm gonna stack them up like this, these are completed and these are completed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the completed ones into the kitchen. Here I go. Coming into the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm gonna open these doors up. And the ones that we're not gonna use for like four more weeks, I'm putting them all the way back in here, stacked up. So when we're ready for them, we can get them, but they're not too easily accessible. Okay, oh, all right. So I'm gonna make sure I stack them a little better this time. I'm gonna take this one out. This is a backup one, which we're not even using now. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's five weeks there. And then this little thing here, we use this to put the, the black pouches in. So I'm just gonna put this here. They all go in like this. And then we've got the active one on top, which is always the one we use this pouch so we know that's the one that we're actually on that week. Put that back under in here so we can reach this pretty well. Okay. Then I'm gonna decide what I wanna do with the ones that we need to still work on. These are missing. We may or may not get these pills in for another month. So I'm just gonna put these a little bit more off to the side. I think I'm going to put them all the way to the right. And if anybody takes it out, they'll easily see what we're missing and they'll be able to rectify the situation. Okay? So I put that back in there. And we're done. So now I'm going to show you what we do with the cardboard box with all the pills in it. We carefully carry it into the laundry room. And even the bottles that we completely used up, all 90 pills, I kept them here in the box, in the order, empty, as a reference. So if somebody came in, they needed to know who the prescribing doctor was, or the dates that the refills were, or the quantity, or the type of pill, they could easily see that right here on all the bottles, even if the bottle's empty. Here is the chart, extra charts. Off to the side here is just extra pills that he doesn't really use anymore. They're just kind of for reference. Now I'm going to carefully lift this up without tilting anything. And it just kind of stays up here. I know it looks kind of random, but this is where we figured would be the best place to have it. And there you have it. Any questions, you can call me, Jamie Cooper, at 954-684-0802, or you can email me jamcoop1 at aol.com, j-a-m-c-o-o-p-1 at aol.com. Thank you very much. Bye.